Hi, this is Adam with a brand new PhotoNerdUniversity.com and today I want to show you how to use the hue and saturation adjustment layer to target specific colors inside of Photoshop. In the spirit of the 2016 fall season that's just began, I thought it would be cool to go ahead and edit a photograph from last year's fall season. In particular, what I wanted to do with this image was punch up the yellows just a little bit more and actually desaturate some of the reds just a little bit because if you look over here on the right hand side there's some fall colors where the red is almost abnormally red and I think that it needs to be toned down a little bit even though that was actually the color it's a little bit too punchy for me one of the cool features built into Photoshop is the hue and saturation adjustment layer and on the surface it's actually a pretty easy tool to use but there's actually some hidden features in here that you might not know about and I wanted to show you because in this photograph it'd be perfect to use so let's go ahead down to the bottom and grab a hue and saturation adjustment layer and the first thing that you'll notice is the hue saturation and lightness adjustments you actually have these same opportunities inside of Lightroom to do the same thing but in particular there are some things that make this tool a little bit more powerful than the Lightroom room adjustments and I'll get to that in just a second. One of the things that we have the ability to do is if we go here where the master slider is, we can choose which colors in fact we want to target, whether it's reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, or magentas. I've already said that I wanted to target the yellow colors, so I'm going to start by choosing the, let the yellow channels. Once I choose this channel to help me better see exactly what yellows are being selected, I'm going to go ahead and take the saturation all the way up to 100%. This isn't how I want the picture to look. This is just so that I can better see exactly what colors are being targeted here. And in fact, you can see that not only are the yellows being targeted, that even some of these oranges and reds are being targeted as well. And so this is where the hue and saturation tool differs a little bit from, let's say, the Lightroom hue and saturation adjustment layers, because I can actually choose exactly what colors I want by going down to this little slider over here. And when you look, you'll see that there are four little arms or four little dots on this color wheel here. And as I pull on them, I'm deciding to include more colors or reduce some colors. And any one of these little arms that I pull on, I can pull them in either direction. I can even pull the arms in the center. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pull these arms in. And as I do, I'm actually tightening up the selection and saying, I don't want any of these reds or oranges to be selected. I really only want the yellows to be selected. And on the far right hand side, I don't want really any of the greens to be targeted either. So I'm going to just move these arms until I see some of these other colors disappear. And that looks pretty good. And so if I turn this adjustment on and off now, you can see how really it's just the yellows that are being targeted and not really any of the greens. But I could continue working this even further if I felt like I needed to get it even better. Something like this. Once I have that where I want it, I'll go back to the saturation, put this back at zero, and make my adjustments from here just to pump up the lightness on the yellows only. So it's really this slider which is a powerful tool that allows you to target exactly the color that you want. Now that I've gotten the yellows where I want them, let's grab another hue and saturation adjustment layer, and we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to choose the red channel. I'll move my saturation all the way up and then I'll begin to move this slider until everything except for the reds that I want is actually what's being affected here. Something like that looks pretty good. I'll move my saturation back down to zero and then from here I can make any necessary adjustments that I want to do. In this case I said I wanted to desaturate some of the reds just so that they weren't so punchy and I'm even going to pull the lightness down just to deepen those reds up just a little bit more. And so between both of these two hue and saturation adjustments you go from here to here and I've been able to target exactly what color tones I wanted to use and you can do this for anything you can even do this to change a color characteristic altogether. For example if I go back to the yellows 
and decided I wanted to change the hue of those yellows, I can actually make the hue of these something completely different and you see how well that targets just those colors and those colors alone. For example, if I wanted to introduce a little bit more orange and less yellow into those colors, I could do exactly that because this slider is controlling what colors are being affected. I'm gonna go ahead and reset that back to zero because that's not what I wanted to do, but what I might do is add just a little bit of lightness to these yellows just to brighten them up and soften them up just a hair. So again, here's a quick before and after of just those two color adjustments and that was pretty painless. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As always, we appreciate when you subscribe if you're a new viewer. And if you haven't checked out the new PhotoNerdsUniversity.com website, we'd love it if you head on over there and check out all the free content that we have on our website. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next episode.